Hello Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome. If you're new, um, today's video is going to be a reading all about what your person is thinking or feeling about you at this time and what are their energies or intentions towards you or towards the connection. As always, this is meant to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. Take what resonates, what applies to your situation, leave the rest. So let's jump right in, spirits, angels, guides. What's going on for Aquarius in love? What can Aquarius expect when it comes to love spirit? What's been happening past, present, and future? Ace of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Empress. Hmm. I feel like there was communication and then it stopped, even though there was a lot of potential here. Okay. Um, what's the situation? The Sun and the Three of Pentacles. This is what's going on right now in your connection. Challenges, any insight? is here okay so I'm getting the message that there's something that's coming out here something that's being revealed okay how do you feel about this person four of Pentacles and judgment reversed interesting how do they feel about you the tower and the five of cups Wow so I feel like maybe this person there was a tower that happened in this connection maybe they caused it here and there's regrets with the Five of Cups. Maybe this is was like something that they had a part to play. So what's the potential outcome here? What's next? Eight of Wands. The Moon Reverse. Yeah, there's some sort of reveal happening here. Pisces Energy with the Moon Reverse. I do sense that. There's something that's coming to the surface here. Especially with the Sun too. <coughs> Excuse me. And what do you need to know? The hangman reverse, ten of swords reverse. Interesting. So I'm getting something like um, a restart. That's what I heard, restart. Now the ten of swords reverse for me is a card about moving on from a difficult ending. And the hangman reverse is kind of telling me that there's some sort of movement here that's happening after an ending or some sort of situation that maybe someone was thinking about and now they're ready to take action on. Um, so why is this all happening? Justice reverse, because there's been some sort of imbalance here. Libra energy, Ace of Pentacles after that. So this is very fascinating to me because I feel like this is a situation where there's some sort of shift happening here. In your, when you think about this person, um, I feel like in your mind, they messed up. And maybe you're holding back from them. Maybe you're trying to protect yourself from this person in a way. Or like I'm almost picking up this energy of you holding back or pushing back or, or removing yourself in some way from this person. Like from access to this person, you could have stopped talking to this person because I feel like this person caused a tower. And it was very unfair to you is what I'm getting here, Aquarius. Um, now, I, I'm not going to clarify all of these energies, just the ones that I want a little bit more insight on. Um, I feel like in the past, like there was something that, that you realized with Ace of Swords or maybe a, an important conversation or something that you saw or, you know, that's what I'm getting. Like this was something that I feel was out in the open with the Ace of Swords. And then with the Four of Swords, I'm getting completely opposite energy. It's almost like there was something that was happening with Ace of Swords, clarity, communication, truth, something that was out in the open with Ace of Swords, right? And then in the present, there's like Four of Swords, no action, no communication. Someone's literally sleeping, their eyes are closed, etc. And then over here in the near future, I have the Empress. So it's back to like this growth potential. Um, the Empress is able to manifest abundance. So I find that very fascinating how there's like a progression here happening. So let's see, why the Four of Swords? Why is there? I honestly feel like a lot of you stopped talking to this person or perhaps you cut access to this person. Maybe you're trying to figure out what to do. And if this isn't you, this is your person. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? What happened here with the Four of Swords? 
Yep, Eight of Wands. So I feel like someone's, we got the Eight of Wands twice. So I feel like someone here is thinking about talking, communicating, taking some sort of action. Can I get one more for the Four of Swords? Can I get one more for the Four of Swords? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something here with like, yeah, okay. So we have the Page of Cups. So I'm getting someone communicating with the Eight of Wands, Page of Cups, communicating their feelings, maybe apologizing. Um, because I feel in their mind, there's some sort of, there's like potential here. What's after the Page of Cups? Five of Cups. Oh, yeah, this is definitely an apology. And then the Queen of Wands, King of Wands after that. It could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I'm getting like someone really wants to do this. Someone's very like motivated to do this, to apologize to you. Make things right, because right now things aren't, aren't very balanced. Tell me about the Empress. What's this Empress about for Aquarius? The Emperor, wow, the Empress with the Emperor. Aries energy. So um, maybe this is a situation where an empress is reunited with an emperor. I have the fool at the bottom of the deck. So it could be that this emperor shows up. Some sort of masculine energy shows up here. An Aries possibly. I feel like this is the same person that's coming to you with an apology. I feel like this is in the works. Now what's helping or challenging this situation is the sun and the three of pentacles. So for some of you, there could have been some sort of clarity about a third party, a third person, or some sort of clarity about someone's true effort in the connection. And maybe you realize you were the one doing all the work or they weren't pulling their weight, or maybe you realize there was someone else. Let's see, tell me about this three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? Why is the three of pentacles here? The devil, Capricorn energy. Why is the three of pentacles here? Why is the three of pentacles here for Aquarius? The knight of pentacles. There's a high priestess. Okay, so I'm getting that there was something hidden here because the moon is reversed. Ace of Swords is here. The Sun is here. These are all cards about like clarity for me as a reader. And when the Moon's reversed, this is something being revealed. Now I have the High Priestess here. So I feel like this is all connected. Yeah, and look, the Moon right after that. Look at that energy. There's something hidden here, a secret. And I feel it's about whatever this Devil energy here is. Um, this is, could be an unhealthy attachment of some sort. It could be an addiction, a temptation, something that someone screwed up on. Because I feel like this person that you were dealing with, maybe they made a mistake. Can I get one more for this devil? Capricorn energy here. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Queen of Cups. Page of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone trying to make something up to you. There's the, the Ace of Wands. And the Emperor came out with the Fool. So I feel like this is someone trying to make something up to you. Because I see them bringing you an offer. It could be that they were working on this in secret. Maybe they secretly desired you. Maybe they see this was a secret admirer. But I feel like there was, someone did something here they shouldn't have. Because it was unfair to you in some way. Or it was an unfair way of handling a situation. I feel like this is someone um, doing damage control. So let's get some insight into how you are thinking or feeling about this person and how they are thinking or feeling about you. Spirit, tell me more about Aquarius and this other person. Can we get some insight into Aquarius? And the person they are dealing with spirit. Tell me about Aquarius. Aquarius, feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Far apart. Distance, separation, divide. Yeah, I feel like you literally distance yourself from this person. You there could be long distance here between you, but I feel like this is you pulling back from this person. Yeah, looking inward. This is like my hermit card. So yes, you definitely did, Aquarius. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. 
tell me about Aquarius's person. Why? What can you tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with, Spirit? Can you tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with? Oops. Okay, what was that? New beginnings, yeah. This is that full energy. This is someone that wants to start over. This Ten of Swords reverse, the Hangman reverse. I feel like this is someone that wants a second chance here, a new beginning with you, despite what's happened. I don't feel like I have enough space here, but can I get some insight here into the Four of Pentacles? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles? Queen of Swords, yeah, you definitely want nothing to... I feel like you are protecting yourself from this person to an extent. Guarding yourself to an extent. Being very tough with this person. Because I feel like you, you're, you in a way, not taking anything else from this person. No more BS from this person. Or you are putting on a defensive front. In the sense of, like, I need to protect myself because of whatever is happening here, whatever happened with this tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Judgment, yeah, okay. <laughs> so see how the tower is here with judgment and you have judgment reversed? This person made a judgment call that you don't agree with or that you have issues with. Tell me more about the tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Strength, Leo energy. Okay, so this person, I feel like they thought that this was the way to maybe regain control of a situation. Um, I feel like this person they regret this decision. There's the Empress at the bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups, yeah. They're coming to you to apologize. Look at this, Seven of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Empress, yes. This person knows they screwed up. I don't know what they did, but they screwed up. They regret it. And I feel like they're missing you. Like, I see them thinking to themselves, like, wow, I can't believe I did that to an Empress. And I think they were trying to do it because maybe in their mind they thought this was the best decision they could have made at the time. Or maybe they were trying to avoid something and then that drew that, that kind of led them to a mistake. Because that's the devil energy. The devil energy to me is someone that takes the easy path. The path that feels most good or most is most attractive to someone. The, the path that you know, could be an illusion because it looks so good, but they're not thinking about looking into that too much, right? They're just drawn in by how good something looks, how good something feels. That's the devil energy. And unfortunately, that sometimes leads people to make mistakes. So what's happening next here, what you can expect in the near future is some sort of revelation in terms of communication. Tell me about the Eight of Wands and the Moon Reverse. Why is the Eight of Wands here? With the moon reverse. Why is the eight of wands here with the moon reverse? The world. Ooh, I feel like you're gonna be surprised that this person wants to come back around. Tell me more about the eight of wands and the moon reverse. I feel like this is something that you might not expect because the moon is reversed, so I feel like it's it's a reveal of some sort, a surprise. Two of wands. Can I get one more, please, for the Eight of Wands? Okay, we have the King of Swords, yep, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, there's someone from your past, I feel, that this person, that wants a second chance, that wants to come back around. I feel like they're gonna try to talk to you here. There's the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I once again, you know, I'm getting this this idea of someone coming back around, and I've gotten that energy since the Ten of Swords reversed. That someone I feel wants to come back after something has ended here. Like start over after something has ended. And I feel like this might surprise you in some way, Aquarius. Like you're not really expecting this person to show up. 
or tell you this with the King of Swords, Eight of Wands. But you should know that this is happening, that someone's taking some sort of action here, because this is what you need to know. What's happening behind the scenes is down here. Tell me about the Hangman reverse with the Ten of Swords reverse. Why is the Hangman reverse with the Ten of Swords reverse? There's the Empress. The Emperor and the Empress. <laughs> it's very surprising to me that it's such a clear reading from beginning to end. Tell me about the Hangman reverse with the Ten of Swords reverse. Someone's coming back to their Empress. Like, that's just clear. Why is the Hangman reverse with the Ten of Swords reverse? Yep, the Fool. This is a very clear reading, Aquarius. And then we have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So we're just coming back full circle from where we began in this reading. This is somebody, a very clear reading. This is someone that wants to try again after something difficult has taken place. This is someone that wants a new beginning with their Empress. They're taking a risk for their Empress here to try again. Um, this is someone that wants a do-over. Of course, that's not to say that you have to take this person back or that, you know, this is something that you absolutely have to do, Aquarius. Um, I'm just telling you what the situation is. So let's get some advice. Any guidance messages for spirit? Uh, for spirit. Any guidance messages for Aquarius, spirit? Any guidance messages, advice for Aquarius? What do they need to know, spirit? winter and be patient okay so something slowly unfolding here might take some time something could be happening around winter time which is a couple months away so that's what i have for you aquarius i hope you enjoyed this new style of a reading i think that it got we got a lot of information about your connection at this point otherwise i'll leave it here aquarius thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the reading please consider hitting the like button subscribing so you could see more readings from me leave a comment down below if you enjoyed the reading want to say hi or tell me how it resonated for you i love hearing from you guys and i will see you all in another video very soon take care